Hello friends and welcome back. So I'm going to do this plan with me, which is another one like following one that I just did and I'm super, super sorry, but I wanted to get this out and show you it before Black Friday because this is the kit that's available during Black Friday. It's also a part of the freebies. So if this is something that you like and you want to um, pick it up, I will let you know exactly what part of it is the freebies and what parts of it that you can just buy in the store if you don't want to have to go through all of like the freebie process. So anyway, here is totally hand-drawn little leafy. It's called Christmas Eve. This time we only have six full boxes because this originally was just this. So when I first started drawing it, I was drawing it just as a two-page kit, and um, then I turned it into a deluxe kit because I just love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I needed more boxes because you know me. I have to have more boxes. So what I ended up doing was just turning it into a deluxe kit, and then I thought, well, what if anybody else wanted it? So I put it up in the shop, and it will be available for Black Friday and after Black Friday as a deluxe kit, but it's a little bit different format than what you're used to. So six full boxes here. We've got the Dear Santa with the cookies and the milk. <laughs> She's got underneath the mistletoe with a little presents and her hot coffee. Hot, I'm sorry, hot cocoa. And then the no peeking, and she's peeking out from behind the presents, ready to open them. Then you got the little fireplace, all recolored and done with the colors of this kit, which is absolutely adorable. If you uh, recognize this, it's from the um, the other Christmas kit that I have, but this is recolored for this kit. Then we got the Christmas tree, which is stinking adorable, and all the presents. And then you've got her in bed, Leafy, with her little sugar plum dreams dancing in her head for Christmas Eve. Here are your date covers. On your page two, you've got your washi with all the presents, and then everything else is pretty much just the um, papers. So it's very, very easy. It's just all the hand-drawn papers that I did. And then at the bottom, I could put a couple of pieces of deco from the kit and then all of your normal stuff here. Then you've got this box and, sorry, let me just, then you've got all of these with your numbers and um, your other washi, you recognize these pages but these are the extra pages that I added on. So it's a little bit different because you're missing a couple of the full boxes, but I think this paired with um, some of the Christmas quotes and you're, you're good, you got it, it's good. So, and what I should have done is made these into a quote sheet for you guys, but I ended up making some vinyls. These are part of the freebies, so these are match this kit. So you can see the Christmas tree here, the hot cocoa here, and a <laughs> little gingerbread. So we did a oh snap, a hot, co hot cocoa vibes, and a ho 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 with the tree. And these are also, um, all three of these are one of the freebies during the Black Friday sale. Then we have the deco sheet, which is also a freebie. So you can also use the deco in these boxes uh, right here, either these ones or these ones and make some more full boxes if you like. I know I'm kind of stressed out about the fact that there's only six boxes and we usually have nine, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. So we've got the deco. You've got the extra sheet. I don't know how I got, oh. This is the extra sheet with like all the little extra goodies. And this is the format that is for the um, subscriptions only. So this is probably about the only time that you're gonna get these, these available in the Etsy shop because this is actually the format for our subscription service. But I made these special for Black Friday. So you've got dividers and you've got the little extras and then I've got a washi sheet. So this is out of washi paper. So that is everything and we will get started throwing everything down. So I thought this would be a good time to go over our trip and how it went so I'm just gonna do what I always do start throwing down stuff and I will just talk so I'm not gonna really talk too much about the planner itself because I'm gonna be talking more about our trip so you guys know already that we went to Florida for the SGS convention and now disclaimer I did not attend much to my dismay now after the fact I did not attend the convention itself I just sponsored a table which I'm sure you guys are all tired of hearing about that but I did want to at least update you on how that all that went so when we arrived in Florida it was holy heck hot I do not know how anybody here that lives in the south I commend you you guys um are just some some very um party people because I got off the plane or walked out through the plane the uh, airport doors and wanted to turn around and go back I am not I'm not a, I'm not a good person for humidity I don't like it I live up north where it's a little bit chillier the air is crisp and cool and I just don't do well in that environment so <laughs> it was not pleasant I didn't like it at all but it was okay because we're on vacation and most of it we were going to be spending um you know in places where we could be indoors and out of the heat so 
We got to our hotel. We, well, we picked up a car, got to our hotel. We stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando at, so that was at Universal Studios Hard Rock. That's where we stayed. Gorgeous hotel. They are, it's a fun hotel. Like if you love music, that is the place to be. They actually had live concerts there while we were there. Um, so that was pretty awesome. And quick break. I'm going to figure out where I want to put up here. I think I'm going to use this one and I'm going to put a quote up here because I have uh, Christmas quotes. So I'm going to grab that Christmas quote sheet and I'm going to put it right in that box. So, okay, now back to what we're talking about. So while we were in um, the Hard Rock, which I love, 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 beautiful rooms, beautiful service. Um, the whole thing was absolutely fantastic. Uh, everything's open 24 hours a day because it's actually a resort, not a hotel. I, sh I guess I should say that before um, I continue on with my story. It's like everything's open basically 24 hours a day when it comes to like room service and stuff like that. The bars are there. It's all open pretty late and it is super, super fun hotel. So if you ever get a chance to stay there, it is one of the more pricier ones um, at Universal Studios, but totally worth it in my opinion, totally worth it. So, um, we got in pretty late. So we ended up going to downtown Disney. See, that's what I mean by washi tape. Uh, we ended up going to, not downtown Disney, I'm sorry, uh, downtown Universal Studios in the one in Florida. And we went and had dinner at ESPN Zone because it was late. And that was pretty much the only thing that was open. <laughs> so that's what we did. And, um, yeah, I met up with my friend Amy. So my friend Amy went with me to um, set up our table and just hang out, her and her husband. So um, we weren't there by ourselves. We had company. And so, yeah, we had a really good time. The next day we did Universal Studios. Um, and while we were at Universal Studios, we did the Harry Potter basically the first day. So my friend, I don't know how she can be my friend. Like, I really don't. I don't understand how we're friends. But she's never seen Harry Potter. <laughs> God bless her soul. She's never seen Harry Potter. So... What um, my husband and I decided to do, since we weren't going to meet up with them that day, until later in the day, we decided to go do the Universal Harry Potter without them. So that way they didn't have to like be kind of drugged through an area that they had no idea what was going on or any of the references or anything. So we went into Universal Studios and it split. If you've never been to that one, I'll just tell you that if you've been to the California Universal Harry Potter and you've never been to the Florida Universal Harry Potter, yeah, you are totally missing out. Like, I, night and day difference between the two parks. The um, Florida park is a hundred times better than the California park. Just, I'm just going to say that flat out. It's split into two different parks and you can actually ride the Hogwarts Express to the other park and it is fantastic. It is an actual ride where you are sitting in a train car and it is stinking fantastic. I loved every second of it. So we did that and then we kind of got sidetracked so we didn't get to see as much as um, I wanted to. When you're walking through the park you can see the dragon on top of Gringotts. You can see it. Like it's in the distance, you're walking towards it and you think you're there and then I got sidetracked by the Hogwarts Express and I never made it to the dragon. So um, we did the one park has shops and rides and stuff um, where you, the Hogwarts Express takes you to. And then if you come back to the other side, um, there's more stuff that's Harry Potter. So the Harry Potter area is split into two different areas. And really, honestly, that's all I went to Universal Studios for. Um, I do like the other rides. I did ride some of the other rides, but it's not like, you know, it's not like I had to do it. Um, really, what I wanted to do is what I did, which was... Harry Potter. I really, really wanted to do all the Harry Potter stuff. So we did it. And then the next day was setup day. So here we're going into the actual convention. So setup day, we got up pretty early and I repacked everything because I wanted to make sure that I had everything where um, I needed it to be in the right containers. I went through and made sure that I wasn't missing anything. What a good time to do that, right? After I'm already in Florida and there's nothing I can do about it, but I wasn't, thankfully. Everything was there, everything was fine. Uh, and uh, my husband helped me pack the boxes. So if you were sitting at my table, my hubby helped pack those little boxes that you got at your table. It's just fantastic. And we uh, ended up leaving our hotel to go and pick up Amy and Jason around 3.30. So we are supposed to be at the other hotel at four and the setup was from four to five, but we ended up getting there a little bit early because I had to meet the florist. So the florist was supposed to be meeting me with the centerpiece at four o'clock. So that's why 
What's this? Oh, I got like little skinny. I forgot I did that. I got like little skinny dividers. Oh, I like that. Hold on. I want to put, I want to put these down. So I'm going to put one here. This is so cute. No, I want to put it here. I don't know where I want them. These are so cute. I forgot I did this. I totally redesigned this kit just for this. And now I, I don't even remember what I did because this is my first time using it. And I really like it. Don't worry, I'm not changing any of my other layouts. It was just this one. That's cute. Except for it's really, really crooked and I can't seem to fix it. Because <laughs> this is such a skinny little piece. Cute, but difficult. All right, there you go. Anyway, so we got there a little bit early. And we ended up uh, meeting the florist. What a disaster. So I got together with this florist. Totally through text messaging. Um, yeah, all I can say is that I, I, I believe it was just a miscommunication. I don't think they are incompetent in any way. I think it was just a miscommunication of me not being super clear on what I wanted, I guess, because my whole table was fall themed, like everything that at the table was fall. So, and when we were discussing the centerpiece, the centerpiece was supposed to be in fall colors. And I picked out the style of bouquet that I wanted for the centerpiece. It cost me a small fortune. Um, and he was supposed to put like sunflowers and things like that in it because that's what I wanted for the table. And um, I picked the style and I think he thought when I picked the style that that's what I wanted for the colors. I don't know how that happened because he knew it was fall. But again, also, this was two, almost two months ago that I started like finding and ordering and setting up the floral arrangement. So maybe somewhere in there, there was a miscommunication and something got lost along the way. I don't know. But he showed up with a summer, very, very summer, beautiful, beautiful bouquet. But summer it was all summer so um i wasn't gonna say anything because that's the kind of person i am i will just deal with it and go about my business but of course amy was like oh hell no we're not you're gonna call them and you're gonna get them to fix it so i messaged him and i said hey um do you you know basically do you, do you remember that we were supposed to, this was supposed to be fall and there was some other some other person's name on the box so i thought maybe he mixed up the 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 delivery and i said there's somebody named lily on here maybe they have mine and i have theirs because this is supposed to be fall and he's like nope that's yours and and then I, and then it was like oh no so hold on one second i need let me see so 26 27 i just wanted to know what the dates were and i don't know what i did with my i thought i had it over here hold on oh, there it is i need my tweezers so this is 27 right yeah 27 so this is sale week cute this would be such a cute kit for sale week so long story short ended up he ended up having to come back to deliver another person's bouquet so there was more than just my table that ordered from that same florist and he brought some um like fall colored flowers to kind of stick in there and then some leaves and some other stuff and i ended up basically redoing the centerpiece because i didn't like um what he brought i did use the flowers but definitely didn't use the leaves um it ended up looking pretty it was pretty by the by the time we put the whole table together it all blended together perfectly it was just a little bit like shocking when you're expecting like sunflowers and dark colored flowers and you get like these pinks and blues and yeah so it was a little bit jarring to to see that but it worked out fine then poor diana so <laughs> sugar gal shop is the sponsor of this and she is absolutely fantastic she i don't know how she kept her composure I probably would have lost my cookies like I would have been so upset and there would have been heads would, would have been rolling if I was in charge of that mm -hmm. but what happened was we were supposed to set up from four to five and then early registration so people who were attending were coming in um, at six and they were going to be doing make and takes and the vendor thing was open at that time so um, yeah she had it all planned out and so we were all there at four to make sure that we got our stuff together for so we could be out of there by the time everybody came for the registration and the make it takes well <laughs> there was a conference there in our conference room and they didn't leave until 3 30. enterprise thank you enterprise for ruining our day so <laughs> anyways enterprise was there and um yeah they didn't leave till 3 30 so the hotel still had to clean the room set the room up set up all of the extra stuff you know like all of the sound system and the screens and everything so 
um, yeah, we all sat around and waited until 1030 at night before we actually were allowed to go in the room and set up our tables. So something that was supposed to take an hour and we had plans to go to dinner. We had plans to do some other stuff afterwards. All of that got waylaid um, because we had to wait for the hotel who double booked our room, our conference area to get their act together and get us in there. So um, turned out to be a very stressful day for everybody, including the, the poor Diane. She, <laughs> bless her soul, she probably uh, wanted to murder everybody um, behind the scenes. And luckily, I didn't see any of the interactions, but I imagine that they weren't pleasant for the hotel people. Um, because just from her reaction with dealing with us in the room when we finally got in there and setting up, she was very upset and very disappointed. So I felt so bad for her, but she she is an amazing person and don't let anything that I'm saying ever stop you from going to one of these conventions because for the attendees, no, it went off without a hitch. I heard nothing but fantastic things from every single person that went to it. Everybody love, 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 loved it. So behind the scenes, there was a lot of chaos that was not her fault by any means, but um, in the front, it was fantastic. It was perfect. Everybody had a fantastic time. So anyway, back to that. <laughs> so poor Amy, my friend Amy, I love her so much, but because we were there for so long and they're on vacation, you know, and I was stressed out, so I wasn't going to drink, but there was a bar. So they hit the bar and I did not. And so, um, yeah, my stress was pretty evident. <laughs> Poor Amy, she kind of, she put up with me. She did a good job of putting up with me being kind of a brat. And um, by the time we got in there to put the table together, I was just like beside myself, just beside myself. Like I just needed to get it done. It had to, I, I was tired. I wanted to go to bed. And so she's like, oh, look at this. This is so pretty. How does this go together? And she's like opening everything that I'd already put together because she wanted to see it. But I'm like, no don't do that <laughs> please don't do that just put it down just put it like this just face it that way just do it so like the amount of stress that I was under was just stupid absolutely stupid like I should not have been that stressed out I was being kind of a brat um yeah so poor Amy but she did fantastic and my husband just knows when I'm like that he just he just where do you want this and then he'll put it there what do you want me to do with this and then he'll do it he does not like he's not like opening up all the boxes and the bags and oh what's in here oh what's in here he would never do that because he knows like that i'm about to lose my shit <laughs> so he's like just he kept giving her this look like put it down put it down what are you doing like he knows that i'm gonna like i'm about to lose it so oh, i love them so much that's the joys of like having a bestie and having them by your side is that it doesn't matter. Like they know, and you guys, you know, if you have somebody that's that close to you in your life and you're lucky enough that they are, are by your side for the most stressful times, it is so awesome because you have each other and they know they're not going to get upset or get their little feelings hurt um, because you're cranky or anything like that. She just kind of smiled and rolled with it and was like, okay. And then she put it down and then she's like, so I'm just going to go over here and I'll, I'll bring these boxes out. You know, she just kind of went with it and she was awesome. It was so fun. So on to uh, the next day. So needless to say, I was a stressed out hot mess. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put right here. I'm sorry. I'm like getting sidetracked, but not really. I ha There's a purpose to what I'm doing. I think I want these. God, I love these dividers. They are so cute. This kit is just so bright and so fun. But anyway, um, do you guys know what imposter syndrome is? If you don't know, I think I've talked about it on this channel before, but a lot of um, people like me, uh, who are don't have a lot of confidence in what we do and I know that seems you probably think that sounds silly but I don't have a lot of confidence in my artwork I don't you know um, I don't know it's just me I know it's just me but uh, when once I got the table set up I was stressed out that it wasn't enough and that um, you know, people were going to be disappointed at my table because I'm pretty much an unknown shop. Um, nobody really, uh, I'm not like, I'm not like the other ones. I'm not a Coffee Monsters Co. I'm not a Sugar Gal shop. I'm not, I'm not them. And I sometimes feel like a little fish in a big pond uh, and waiting to get eaten by the sharks. I feel like that actually quite a lot, especially at events like that where I feel like I'm out of place, like I shouldn't be there or I don't deserve to be there, I guess. I don't know. 
I just want to throw that out there so you know where my anxiety comes from and why I was so stressed out while I was there um, and worried that everything wasn't good enough there. So I got it out. Anyway, then uh, as we were leaving the setup, I was telling my husband, I'm like, I think I need to do more. He's like, how? We're here. You have nothing else. It's fine. Stop worrying about it. He's like, it's like a math test. It's done. It's over. It is what it is. You either passed or you failed. Let's go. You just walk out of the room and go. So, so we did. And the um, next day while we went to, we were scheduled to go to Disney. We went to Disney World the next day. So Saturday was all day Disney World while the convention was going on. Um, I got a message on my Facebook from somebody who was at my table. Well, somebody who was at the convention stopped by my table, asked them how they liked it, and videoed their response. And I'm in line at Pirates of the Caribbean, bawling my eyes out like a baby. Because <laughs> I was just so relieved and so happy that they that they loved it. So they were like yelling and we love it and just like talking into the video and it was like the best the best day, the best day ever. So I'm like eternally grateful to everybody at my table. You guys are amazing. I'm so, so happy that you loved it and that you had a good time and I didn't ruin your convention by, uh, yeah, any, by any, any not having enough stuff at my table or having good stuff at my table. So I'm so, so relieved that that worked out. Um, yeah, so it ended up being good. It ended up being very, very good. So anyway, Disneyland. Disney World, sorry, Disney World. So we went to the Magic Kingdom while they were all having a good time at the convention. I love the way that looks, but I don't know if I have anything skinny enough. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Let me see. It's weird because I redid the kit, so I'm missing, I'm not missing them. They're right here. Duh. Ugh, I swear. <laughs> anyway, so, um, anyway, hot hot, humid, rainy, busy. Oh my God, busy. That was like unbelievably busy. So I kind of knew already that Saturday was not a good day to go to Disney, to Disney World, but the tickets are so expensive. They're just so expensive. Um, I wanted to get my money's worth. And every other day that we were there, the park was closing at 6 p.m. And I'm like, there's no way. I am not spending that much money to go to this park to only be there for a few hours. So we went on Saturday because it was open till midnight on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, it was busy. And they were filming a special while we were there, the Disney special. So when you see that, if you watch the Disney special, the Christmas special, um, that's the day that we were there. And they had a bunch of famous people singing up on the stage in front of the castle. They did some beautiful things with that castle. Oh, my gosh. That thing kept changing colors, and there was fireworks all... As soon as the sun started to go down, there was fireworks all night. It wasn't just one fireworks show. It was multiple fireworks shows. There were so many of them going on. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really pretty, but, oh, so busy. So, 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 so busy. Like, painfully busy. So, um, Amy and Jason kind of went off on their own because they're roller coaster people. I'm not. Roller coasters make me very sick. Ever since I was like mid teens, it started and I have never been able to get over it. So, thankfully, my husband does not care one way or the other. He couldn't care less. He'll go on them or not go on them, but it's not going to make or break his day. Thank God. Because <laughs> if it did, I would feel so bad for him being married to me. But, um, yeah, he just kind of, we go on the little kitty rides, meaning like Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted House, I um, mean, yeah, Haunted Mansion. We went on Little Mermaid, you know, stuff like that. We do that kind of stuff. And then shop. We do a lot of shopping. So that's what we did. And Amy and Jason went off on all, they just kept getting on the fast stuff. So like the uh, Space Mountain, anything that they could get on because they had the fast passes. Anything that they could just continue to get on over and over and over again, they did. So they had a really good time. And we met up for dinner. We went and had dinner with uh, Eeyore and Tigger and Piglet. And took like 5,000 pictures of us hugging every single one of those characters like 100 times. They are so stinking cute. And then we went shopping some more. And I got myself a Dooney and Burke um, Haunted Mansion Dooney and Burke wallet. What I really wanted was the purse. But they didn't have any backpack purses. All they had was like crossbodies and the kind that you hold, and I don't like those. I'm trying to think of what's going to fit in these little spots. I can do, I think we'll do this one. Sorry, I got to think. I got to think, think for a minute. Like Winnie the Pooh. Think, think, think. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want because I already used all these. Oh, I didn't use all these. I got this one. I love these. These are so stinking cute. I love them. They're my new favorite thing. And they're in all the subscriptions if you're interested. So, oh, by the way, just real quick while I'm thinking out loud, um, subscriptions close on uh, December 1st. So once they're closed, I think I've said this before, but I just wanna make sure everybody knows because I know not everybody watches every video. So if I'm repeating myself and you've heard this already, just tune me out for a minute. I gotta get it out there though. Um, they won't open back up again until January 1st, and that will be the new artwork. So it'll be the Happy Together it will be January 1st. If you want cozy books, that's the one that you need to sign up for now in order to get that. Um, they'll be shipping next week. So they'll be heading out to you next week. So if you want cozy books, now is the time to sign up for it. And then once you get your email, if you want to make any changes or do anything or you don't like Happy Together, you can skip, you know, you can skip just January if you wanted to. You don't have to get it if you don't want it. I'm obviously, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, but it is a subscription, so everything that's on there is, you know, only you're only going to get that in the subscription. That's not going to be available on the Etsy shop. Uh, Etsy will have the artwork available in other smaller formats, but the subscription itself is the subscription. Like, they're only going to get it that way. So, anyway, there. That's out of the way. We won't talk about that anymore. Um, on, oh, Sunday. Oh, so Sunday was our last day. And again, remember every freaking day was hot. It was hot. So hot that we ended up buying those, what do you call them? The, uh, cooling cloth. So we were on top of being sweaty every day. We we're also wet because we had these cooling cloths around our necks. Cause we just, you know, we're big babies. We can't handle it. We don't live in that kind of humidity. So it doesn't really work for us. So Sunday was Universal Studios again. It rained on and off, so it was really humid. This is stinking adorable. And um, we ended up, hang on, I know I'm missing something. What am I missing? This week is Thanksgiving. What's going on this week? Oh, Cyber Monday is sale day. I go back to work here and I work all four. Yeah, okay, we're good. I didn't forget anything. I think we're good. Oh, I was going to go get the the Christmas quotes as well. So um, let me go do that. We still have a lot of stuff here. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. We still have all these. Man, this is going to look for a really cute spread uh, for like the daily stuff. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. I wish I had done washi, a washi page. Washi page would have been good. I didn't do it though, and I'm not going back to do it. It's okay. It's good. It's fine. <laughs> we don't need it, right? We don't need it. I'm just going to put some of the deco on here and then go get those. Oh, this one. This one's cute. And then go get those other things. I'm going to actually put it like that. Right in the middle of that swatch. <laughs> I love her face under the mistletoe. It's like, give me kisses. Give me kisses. She's so stinking cute. Oh, I need one for that. Hold on. Oh, down. I got this. I know I have this in here because I was just playing with it a minute ago. Here we go. So there's a big space right here, and I've got like this little green. I want to bring this green over here. So there it is. Okay, there we got that one. And then she's got a little kissy face. And I don't know where I want the kissy face. Probably for December 1st. I'm going to put it on December 1st. No, December 1st, she already has kissy face. Hold on. I'll put it over here. She's stinking adorable. Okay, let me go get the Christmas quotes. I'll be right back. Well, I have to print some of the ones that are clear, but this is the Christmas quotes one. And I have it right now in my shop, uh, in my stock in the back. I only have it available with the white mat, but that's okay. It comes in both the white mat and... Wait a minute. I think I could do I, think I could do something with this. Watch, we're gonna do baby, it's cold outside. And then we're gonna take some of these little candy canes. Put the little candy canes around it. There's also candy. We can put candy as well. 
<laughs> it's cute. I'm gonna put one more up here. So there's that one. Baby, it's cold outside. And then, <laughs> in a world of Grinches, be a Cindy Lou. I wonder if I can put that one here. And then put it kind of more towards the top middle. And then, oh, I should have put it higher and I could have put the no peeking. Oh, that's not, that's not going to work. So I'll just put the present here. Be a Cindy Lou. And then the cookie here. Can't really see it because I didn't put it up high enough. And I want to use this one, but I don't know where. I want the no peeking in here somewhere. How about if we put it above this? We'll put it right here. Uh, nope, that's where it's going. Right there. No peeking. Um, a couple more things I'm going to put down because they're adorable. And then this one. Oh yeah, so I was on the Sunday. Sunday we went to, back to Universal Studios and on Sunday we ended up um, going and doing all of the Harry Potter. So I found the little secret Harry Potter area that I didn't know was there because we were looking for that damn dragon. We were like following, that dragon is here, it's here somewhere, I can see it in the distance, but the closer you get it just disappears. And I didn't know where it went. Well, it's behind the bricks, like in the movie where you tap the bricks, but this time you just go through like a little thing and then you pop out and you're in Diagon Alley and it was fantastic. It wasn't a bunch of store facade fronts. They were actual stores. You could go in quality Quidditch supplies. You could go in Madam, 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 oh, what's her name? The one with the robes. You could go in the robes. We got robes. We both got uh, Ravenclaw robes that we're going to take with us to London because we're going to go to the Warner Brothers tour. Harry Potter studio in London. So we're going to take our robes with us. Um, we, oh, we just did. I did a lot of damage. I can tell you that I did a lot of damage in a little Harry Potter world. So that day loved every single second of it. It was so, 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 so fun. And yeah, so that was that. And that was our trip. And then the next day we packed up and we came home and it was, it was a good time. And it was nice to get back here. I, when we landed, it was 38 degrees and raining. <laughs> so it was nice to go from that extreme heat and misery to absolute joy and cooler weather. And it was raining and the sun wasn't pounding on my face. And yeah, this is me. I just really, really love, just really, really love it. I'm a Northern girl. Some people just really love the North. Some people love the South. I am the North. Okay. Coffee time is on there, my family time, because we do our game nights on Tuesday, and that's pretty much all I'm going to put on this one. I do have a lot of other stuff that's going to go on it, but how stinking cute is this? Oh my gosh. I'm going to find every single Christmas icon I can find to put on this spread, because um, that's all I want to use on this. I do not want to use any of the non-Christmas leafies on here, so that is what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go see if I can find that stuff, and yeah, so I mean, I know that these aren't Christmas specifically, this one and this one, but they blend in just fine. I'm not worried about it. Oh, I should have done hot cocoa one. I could probably pull that up. I do have a uh, hot cocoa leafy that's in this color scheme. So I think I'll go back and pull him up and get, put that one there. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. I hope you guys like this. Like I said, this is available as all of this. If you find this listing, just go to the drop down and you can find the extras there. So you can add on the extras if you want them. You can get the deluxe kit or you can um, work towards getting all of this as freebies during each one of the days of the sales. If you have like things that you wanna pick up, you will be able to pick up those things um, and get a lot of this as freebies, or you can do both because then you'll have two sets of boxes and two sets of washi and two sets of date covers so that you can spread it out and it'll last you even longer. So anyway, that's what I have. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. That was our trip. Um, all in all, it was fantastic. Had an absolutely wonderful time and maybe I won't be such a chicken in next year or next time I will actually attend the conference as a actual attendee. So anyway, thanks guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you again on the next one. Bye.